man do i have some pretty looking flowers growing in the vegetable garden this year and i want to tell you all about them So this is my designated flower area in the vegetable garden this year and I've got three different species planted, a double row of each. I've got my Cosmos Versailles mix over here. I've got my giant zinnias here, lots of different colors there. And behind me here I've got our Ageratum. On this first row here we've got our Cosmos Versailles mix and man these things sure enough put out some flowers. The bees love these things and we've got some pink ones here in the mix some red ones and some white ones and what i really like about these is they make a nice bushy plant so when we plant them on double rows like we have here it really suppresses the weeds in here and we just get a nice looking stand of flowers that all the pollinators love and on our second row here we've got all these nice big blooms with our binary giant zinnias we showed you how we transplant those on a previous video planting them on double rows from transplants in the spring We've got our Benary Giant mix here on one end and on the other end we've got some of the lime ones and some of the white ones. And with the mix you get orange, yellow, red, pink, coral, all kind of good colors. Out of all the Xenia colors these lime ones here are probably my favorite. It's just a beautiful color that you don't see a lot in nature. Just a really nice light green lime color one that goes well with those white ones in this row right here. And in this third row here, we've got a flower variety that I've never grown before until this year. And this is called Ageratum. And it makes tons of these little purple flower clusters here. And the native bees, especially the tiny ones, really love this stuff. My guess is that the pollen is really accessible for those really small bees. They're just all over these flowers feeding on them all times of the day, it seems like. This is a great plant if you want to kind of shade out weeds and have some nice ground cover. It has a lot of vegetation and when you plant it on double rows like we did right here, it really shades out the soil and you don't have a lot of weed problems. So I've really been happy with how this grows. The one thing I will say about it, it does seem to be a little more water hungry than some of the other flower varieties. It will start wilting when it gets hot quicker than some of the other ones will. But we've got drip irrigation below this double row here so we can give it all the water it needs. So all of those flowers there, the cosmos, the zinnias, and the ageratum are all doing really good. Now let's jump over to this other garden plot and check on our pro-cut sunflowers. So here's our patch of pro-cut sunflowers that we planted on a previous video with our Hoss Garden Cedar. And if you saw that video, what we did was we just took a bunch of different colors, mixed them all together, put them in that garden cedar hopper, and it just planted them like a dream. When you direct seed them like this, you get a really nice thick stand. We couldn't even transplant them this close if we tried. But when we direct seed them with that garden cedar, they all come up really nice and we get a nice thick dense stand of sunflowers. Another reason for planting them so dense is that we get some really nice stratification. There's your big word for the day, stratification. So what that means is we get some blooms that come out here about five or six foot tall, some that grow on up to about eight or nine foot tall. So we get a nice little array of blooms that are shorter, some that are taller, and it really just makes for a beautiful stand of sunflowers. This color here is the white night variety. And so this is a white sunflower. Now it's not bleach white, but it's as white as you're gonna get with a sunflower. Really pretty color, more of a rare sunflower color and it just makes a nice bloom. Some of these blooms are a little smaller because I planted them so dense, but that's okay. We like small blooms and big blooms around here. So this here is our orange pro-cut sunflower variety, and this is more of a traditional sunflower color, kind of a deep yellow to orange petal there. And then we've got our lemon pro-cut sunflower here, which is probably about halfway between the white and the orange. So it's darker than the white, but certainly lighter than the orange. A nice light yellow petal color here, 
which is a great addition to this Pro Cut Sunflower mix that I planted. And then we've got some varieties that are bicolor. So this one right here is called the Red Lemon Bicolor Pro Cut Sunflower. You can see it's got the red on the inside of the blooms there and the lemon color on the outside of the bloom. So a nice little bicolor sunflower to add to the mix. And then the last one here we have is called Plum. Now this one's a little bit bicolor as well, but it's got more red than the red lemon bicolor. So the red is a little deeper and extends out a little further on the petals. Now from one bloom of these to the next, you will see a little bit of variation as far as how much red you get and how deep the red is. This is probably one of the deeper colored ones in this sunflower patch. So I hope you enjoyed this flower themed tour of the vegetable garden today. Lots of good things going on around here. Lots of nice big pretty blooms. Lots of beneficial insects and pollinators as a result. Folks, it's not too late to get some of these planted in your vegetable garden. No matter what zone you live in, you can still get some of these planted, still bring in those beneficial insects and those pollinators to help out your vegetable plants. I'll put some links below to our flower varieties so you can check those out. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.